I'm going to be showing off my Synology NAS, the type I run and what I use it for and some of the features it comes with. It just makes life so much easier than a USB or a hard drive and it just works and it's amazing. So the one that I purchased is a DS220. It's a two bay NAS. I've got four terabytes of storage on mine and I bought it for around 200 bucks off eBay. I only bought it because I saw Network Chuck's video on his NAS and as soon as I saw that, I bought it. Now mine's a very basic version. It's not the best in the world. It's not the quickest, but for what I use it for, just for managing files and storing files and backing up some virtual machines, it does, it does a job. I am wanting to upgrade in the future. At the end of this video, I've got the one that I like, which will not be happening anytime soon. Now, on the bigger NASs from Synology, you have a lot more features as far as Docker and virtual machines. Mine doesn't have that. It's pretty much a backup server for my files and for my Proxmox. I've got little features such as Plex and just um, backup applications. But I, because mine's a smaller one, it doesn't have all the other awesome features. But as for what I use it for, I don't need that as I've got my servers for that. But moving into the future, I do want a bigger one. But for a person starting off with network attached storages and moving on from USBs or external hard drives, this one is the perfect solution. You can get a one bay, but I recommend two bay for redundancy and so, and yeah, RAID configuration. My favorite thing about Synology is the operating system that runs the hardware. I have used TrueNAS and I'm not the best at it, but Synology makes everything really easy. And even sharing files over cross the internet, you literally get a link generated, paste that in your browser and it's there and it works. Everything just works and it's amazing. And the setup on Synology NASs is so quick and easy. You plug your Ethernet cable in, you get your IP address and you pretty much connect. You choose your account name and you're done. And the SMB share, it just works. The configurations are done for you. You literally just got to turn it on and it connects to your, to your network and all your devices can connect to it. So this is my little opinion on this NAS and I will be sticking with Synology. I can't see that I will change to anything else. If you like, like this video, be sure to subscribe as the channel is growing really fast and I appreciate it. And maybe even drop a like. So my name's AJ from Home Lab Networks and we'll see you in the next video.